Hi guys, today I'm going to use this little suction pump to remove the oil from my car and uh, replace it with the correct specification oil because when I had the work done in my car they put 10W40 in it the specification calls for 5W30 so I know that, that doesn't sound like much of a difference but I've got a sneaking suspicion that the thicker oil is causing too much compression in the in the crankcase and it's causing the PCV valve to operate inefficiently and uh, ineffectively and uh, it could be at least contributing to the problem I've got with the with the car or the multiple problems I have with a car. So um, I'm going to use the, this container here to collect the old oil. That's the plan anyway. Um, it's important to dispose of the old oil correctly um, in accordance with your local municipal laws. Usually they have a collection point at the refuse facilities where they can accept this. So use a container, it doesn't leak and it's got a nice tight lid so that you can dispose of everything properly when the time comes. Uh, we've had a terrible problem finding this 5W30 oil at a reasonable price. Tina eventually found it in the north, northern Cyprus and she bought this yesterday for the equivalent in Turkish lira of uh, 21 euro which is really, really good. Um, I've looked up the spec sheet for the car, Ford Fusion 1.4 2009, and it says it uses, it, uh, it takes the capacity, the oil capacity is 3.8 litres, but that's including a filter change. Now I know I should change the filter, obviously I should change the filter, but I don't have one, and getting one is going to be an absolute mare. So, uh, I'm going to leave the filter there, so there's probably about 3.5 litres will come out of the thing. So anyway, I should have plenty here to deal with that. Right guys, let's do it. So guys, to suck all the oil out, you need to remove the dipstick. I don't know how much you can see in this bright sunshine. It's very hot again today. Remove the dipstick, clean off the excess oil so you don't get it everywhere. You need to push this pipe into the dipstick hose, uh, the dipstick channel, and push it right down until it can't go any further. So that's right into the sump. Now I've got a bit of a problem here that this, this was cracked. Once again, everything plastic just gets destroyed here with the UV and the heat. And I've wrapped it as best I can in tape, so I'm hoping that it doesn't uh, just produce oil everywhere. So then I've put the other end. in the receptacle and we connect up the pump to the battery switch it on and see what happens I hope we have success I never like doing this It always causes me a lot of stress because uh, once upon a time the receptacle fell over as soon as it started receiving oil and I had oil all over the place and it's very very difficult to clean up. So anyway, we're going to be a bit noisy now. I'm going to switch this on and see what happens. Wish me luck.
so absolutely nothing's happening except the pump's getting hot So nothing works as you hope it should, as usual. That should be down as far as it can go. No, it can't go any further. Pretty sure it's just coiling back on itself, I think. Let's see now. No, still nothing. Still nothing. Maybe there's some kind of guard to prevent this. I don't know. Maybe this is blocked because sometimes we have insects, um, wasps, who crawl into little holes and uh, lock them up. Let's see if I feel any pressure. <sighs> it's sucking. It's sucking, but we're not getting any oil out. So Let's see if we can go. No, we can't do that. It's impossible. I don't want to remove the sump plug because it's very difficult for me to get to. I know that this isn't blocked because I checked it earlier. Let's push it down a little bit more. Maybe this is the problem. It can't form a vacuum. I'm trying to avoid getting filthy. It's not working guys. Answers on a postcard. I don't understand. It should be spilling oil. So finally, finally we got some flow. After much gnashing of teeth. I would like to see it come through the other end though.
that noise is the pump priming itself. There's a lot of air in that oil. I don't understand what's going on. There's nothing in the bucket yet. Nothing. This camera keeps switching off because it's overheating. It's as much use as a chocolate fire guard. I don't understand why nothing's simple in this world anymore. It's just taken about two hours to do something that should take five minutes. But this hasn't been used for ten years. There was blockages in the pipes. I'm not surprised, I wouldn't be surprised if this is also blocked. Now we've got some flow trying to come on the other side. It's mainly air. Next time I'll plan to take the sump plug off and it's, uh, it's done in five minutes. Less than five minutes. I just didn't want to lift the car. This will burn out soon. It's very, very hot. We need to get some proper oil flow running through it, no air. Otherwise the pump will burn out. I don't understand where all the air is coming from. Not good. Come on, come on, come on. Give it some oil. No. Theoretically it's a good idea, but it doesn't work in practice. Not for me anyway. Not getting much help from my helpers today. Why all the air? I don't get it.
should be flowing evenly. I'm certainly not doing that. I had to make this Keith Robinson thing because the original pipe broke. I don't know whether that little bend's causing a problem, maybe. The thicker pipe won't fit down the, the guide for the dipstick. Let gravity assist us. Here. Mainly here. Now we got it. Now we got it. Almost. I'm glad I didn't have anything planned. Come on. Oh. 
Well, not in the sump, I'm guessing. But it should be plenty long enough. Now we have oil. Ringo, what are you doing, boy? It's weird, it's really weird. Oh, stop. Push it further in. It stops. There's a sweet spot. Flies are everywhere. Can we bite? I don't know what's happening at the output. The pump's just not strong enough. It's not enough suction, not enough vacuum for the viscosity of the oil. There's hardly anything come out yet.
changes. There we go. I'm not liking it at all. After I suck all this out, the car's just going to lay back and have a smoke. Well, I can hardly hold this though. Maybe the pipe just needs to be a little bit longer. I don't have any more pipe. Maybe the pump's destroyed. Give it a rest for a few moments. I need to try and find another piece of pipe that will fit down the hole for the uh, for the dipstick. I don't have. I don't have. 